Hello YouTube, so if you're like me, you probably have some Raspberry Pi images and if you double click them, you can't open them or see what ROMs are on them or get the splash screens on them. You can um, you know, download different uh, builds, both Recallbox, ba Batocera, also RetroPie. You can download those images, you might want to take a ROM off without burning the image to SD card. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the two ways you can access those um, ROMs or whatever you want to get off of an image. And hint, hint, it is going to be this Linux reader. Now, before I go into Linux reader, I did want to just say it is free, and I'll show you how to do it. Number two uh, is that you can also just install Ubuntu or another Linux operating system, and you can access these images a lot easier that way. But um, if you're a PC user, this is by far the easiest way. So you go ahead and do get it for free. And at any time, if I'm speaking too fast, you can scroll down here. And uh, you don't need the pro version. The free version will be just fine. But there's instructions as far as how to install. It's very easy. If you can't install this, you know, you probably shouldn't be building your own uh, RetroPie image. Um, you know, no offense. It's just this is a pretty basic operation. So you want to install the... Um, you know, download it. I already downloaded it and I ran it and then I installed the application. I After you install it, go ahead and open it and it should look something like this. Like I said, if at any point in the tutorial you are lost, this is how you install it. It's fairly simple. Um, once you've installed it, you'll go ahead and open it up. And there's a couple things you can do here. The first one is what you all probably want to know is let's go ahead and do drive, mount image. Or you can right click over here and do mount image. And what we're doing here is we're just finding the the image file, which is what we downloaded from Arcade Punks or Backups.me or some other thing. And so here I have the Wolf and Nose Arcade Reboot Raspberry Pi 32 gigabyte extended. This is a recall box image. So I just double click it. There it is in red. You might be noticing, why is there three of them? Drew, what the hell? Well, the overlay and the recall boxes are the boot drives. They, they, sh they you know, have different, uh, you know, uh, BIOS files, things like that in there. We actually want the share folder here. The one, usually it's the one that's the largest. So this is a 32 gigabyte image. So the majority of the ROMs are going to be on this partition right here. So we double click. And with this, it's very simple, right? The music is here. If you want any of the, I can take the music right off. Electronic Song of Hedgehog. Look, I even get a preview of it before I even get it. But if I did want to do it, I do save here, save it, and then put it where you want it. I'm putting it in my documents right now. I don't need the file structure. I can go ahead and do that. It's seven megabytes next. You see how fast, watch how fast seven megs go. Super fast, right? It's going at 229 megabytes per second. Okay. Um, but let's say you want ROMs, right? Sorry, I got a little distracted there. So we go back to the volume here. We go to ROMs, and then we want... Uh, and then, so that that's what you could do is just select them all, and then save, save files. Don't want the structure, and then I can go ahead and delete that, and then the media. Remember, I didn't want that. I might want the game list, but where's my media? So just get rid of the media. Media is going to be your images and your video snaps. I don't need. Let's. I just want ROMs, right? <laughs> and then there you go. Boom. It took me one second. To get all those ROMs, and then uh, let's see if I have folders here. Um, okay, those are just all of them. So I can go back here. I can go back to my ROMs. So that is how you do a recall box image. Let's go ahead and do. Let's go and make this big. Let's go ahead and mount a new image, raw image. This time we're going to go to my backup file over here. I have a bunch of Pi images. And let's do like a virtual man's 512 gigabyte reloaded re, uh, retro pie image. And here we go. You got the, um, oh, it's right here. And then you can see it here. The, the largest container, 457, 96 gigabytes. Let's click in there. And now you'll notice the retro pie image structure is, or, or, you know, file structure is a little different. Home pie, home pie and retro pie. ROMs. Boom. And then Super Nintendo. There's all your Super Nintendo games. So let's see, you wanted all the Super Nintendo games. We can go over here, scroll all the way down, go to the bottom right corner. Then we hit save. We want to save these files to our computer. We do not need the file structure. You can browse for a different directory if you want. This is going to be 2.1 gigabytes. Let's see how long this takes. But remember, we actually don't want the media. So let's go down to M. Make sure we're not taking that media. We just don't need it. Mix art. 
What was the other thing? Let's look for a folder. There you go. Snap. And there's one more folder. Wheel. We just don't need that artwork. Next. And there you go. We're getting the entire Super Nintendo file. All the ROMs. And uh, it's going to take us about 12 seconds. All right. And then I want to show you one more thing, which is what if you have an image that's already burned on an SD card? That's actually super easy. I'll show you that really quick. So let's go back. Let's go back to our main directory here, my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and put in an SD card right now. I'm going to put this image in. This is a recall box image, but as we see, the file structure is a little different, but the process is the same. So I'm putting in my SD card. It should auto detect it. There you go. Recall box. And uh, so there's your main directory. But remember, this is a 512 gigabyte image. So the um, it should be G share. We're going to go in. We're going to go into ROMs. And here we go. 512 gigabytes of ROMs. If you want the PSP games, we can go get them there. We can go back to ROMs. You've got the breadcrumbs up here. You can go back to ROMs. You can go into, you know, Scum VM. And then again, you just click it, you save it, save file, put it in the directory you want. You don't need the, the structure necessarily. Next, next, next. And then it will extract that easily. Done. All right, now, uh, and then, oh, it even tells you where it's going. So let's go ahead and open that up. I'm putting it in my OneDrive right now. So um, you can see it here, all those SNES games, all those NES games. Um, if there, I'm putting in my OneDrive. <laughs> I'm going to delete them right for this video. But um, as you see, everything is in here um, and looking good. So that's it. And then from here, you know, if you want to put it on a different image, you just drag and drop it through the Windows file system. Uh, if you're going to be, you know, using uh, a PC emulation, you can just, you know, uh, redirect your your emulator to this new folder you just had or drop them in your wherever your old ROMs are you know at that point you can you should be able to you know drag and drop where you need them so that's it that's how simple it is to use the disk eternals uh, disk internals Linux reader I hope this was helpful if you could like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one